a couple of extra boards here and a couple of extra boards for the benches. And that equals 16.5 two by four, which I'll show you those. I'm gonna need seven eight foot by four foot by four lift everything into off of the truck. The first thing I need to do before I divide my house is get the measurements from the wall where I'm gonna be dividing the house at, which is right here. So that is for me, 21 feet. I'm gonna do a 20 fun, uh, 22 foot measurement to have a little extra. And it's about seven and a half feet tall ceiling, but I'm gonna say it's uh, that it's gonna be an eight foot ceiling. So I'm gonna do my measurements on 22 by eight foot tall. 22 feet long by eight foot tall. Okay, that's how I'm gonna measure for all my boards, top plates, bottom plates, all that. And then I'm gonna add in a couple of extra boards here and a couple of extra boards for this other doorway over here because we're gonna plug those doorways and start soundproofing this. So let's get those measurements, which I've already got to save you all some time. Right here is the measurements. I've got 22 feet long by eight foot tall. Okay, how do you figure out how many studs to buy? Well, for me, it's 22 feet right here. 22 feet is the room times 12 to get 264 inches. You gotta turn your feet times in it by 12, which turns your feet into inches. So now that we have 264 inches, we're gonna take that number divided by 16 because you're putting two by fours every 16 inches. And that equals 16.5, two by fours. But I'm gonna turn that into 17 because you can't have 16 and a half two by fours. We're gonna to need to get 17 of them. You might as well get that other half a board if you're paying for it. And then I'm adding a few extra studs for the corners and four in the middle because in the middle we'll have where this wall and this wall divide uh, interlock in the middle. So we're gonna add a couple of extra boards. So that's how I'm getting 20. So hopefully that math makes sense. You can put your number 15 foot, 16 foot, 50 feet, whatever it is, times 12 to get your inches. Take your inches divided by 16 and that's how many boards you need, how many studs you're gonna need. For me, I'm actually gonna need 35 because I'm gonna be doing these doorways also. And I'm also on the other side of this doorway I'm gonna be building a shelf right here, which I'll make a video on. And that shelf will also help uh, with the sound if they put towels and blankets and things inside that little shelf. And then this will be insulated and framed. And then we'll have another wall in front of that with insulation, sheetrock and frame, paint, mud and tape, all that. This will all be soundproof, hopefully. So here's my parts list before you go to the store. I'm gonna need 35 studs four 12 foot studs, that's for the top and bottom plates, and then eight foam, those are eight foot by four foot wide foam boards, which I'll show you those. I'm gonna need seven eight foot by four foot wide half inch sheetrock, one bucket of mud, and 154 square feet of insulation, pink insulation rolls. So I'll have to take this parts list to Lowe's and I'm gonna get all that inside of Lowe's delivery and have them drop it off because I, do not have a way to haul all that sheetrock on my little Toyota Camry. Not very easily. I get a $20 delivery through my pros account at Lowe's. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna order the whole entire project on how to divide this house. I'm gonna order all of it right now on my Lowe's credit cards, six months, zero interest, and my first tenant that I'm moving in in a couple of weeks will pay off my bill. This is the part where you drive with your list, get you a drink, try to relax, stay safe, and I'll see you at Lowe's. Drop off. Okay, that's my total bill for, to divide this house in half. First, you gotta get the house, but if you get the house for only $400, I just turned one house into two houses, okay? Plus, the gravel out there, which you can barely see it. There's the gravel right here, which we'll see all that in a second but that gravel was $250, and the guy that dropped off the gravel is gonna be spreading the gravel also for $250. So, there he is right now. He's about to forklift everything into off of the truck. I'm gonna 
get this off of here, but he's gonna forklift all that pallet jack it down. I've already got the receipt, $459, would you believe that? Okay, and that's with a delivery of $79 is what it cost me to deliver because I live too far out of the city, even with a pro account. So, here you have it guys, with the delivery and everything because I drive a Toyota Camry right there. The gravel has been dropped off and I'm making a video on that, how I'm gonna extend this driveway out and make four car parking. But Lowe's has delivered my sound barrier wall, fire reduction wall, and the insulation board. The only thing I have to get is the insulation, the paint insulation. So here is some mud also to mud the wall that I'm about to build. And these longer boards right here, the four longer ones are my top and bottom plates. It's only gonna be a single bottom plate and a single top plate because it is not a, it's not, it's a non-load bearing wall. So a uh, load bearing wall would have a double top plate, single bottom plate, <clears throat> but here's all that. And right now I'm gonna cut these straps and I'm gonna load all this inside my house. And you can see it's a lot easier for Lowe's to drop this off for 20 bucks with a pro account than it is to put it on the top of this car right here. Let's get all this stuff inside. Oh, oh, oh. Spotters! Oh, oh, oh. Do you got low tea? Lift some boards, fool! 